Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create fake entries or testing entry or testing data for basically testing of a database. Let's say that you have a GUI program that is connected to a database and you just want to bombard it with data so that you can check whether uh, its functionalities are working fine or not. Okay, so we'll see that how you can create those uh, fake data now. I'm going to use this fake word as less as possible, as minimum as possible because YouTube algorithm has been notorious in detecting uh, or making false assumptions. They recently deleted one of my video that they assumed was on hacking, but it was not actually. It was for education purpose only. I've said in the starting, I don't know why, uh, why they considered it to be hacking. The videos from which I learned how to create that program were live, but mine was put down. So anyway, not going deep into that selling it. So let's move ahead and let's see first that uh, what are the external packages that we require for this project. You need only one external package that is the database of all these uh, fake data. So uh, again, I use that fake. So testing data. So uh, pip install, not gonna name it, enter. So for me, the requirement is already satisfied. Uh, let's move to the editor and let me show you that how we can get those testing names. Okay, so uh, first of all, actually uh, from um, import, uh, okay. Uh, no, it should be capital F here. Capital F. Interesting. Okay. So uh, then we'll create the class object for faker. Uh, again. Okay. Uh, then what we'll do is actually it's pretty simple. What you need to do is you just need to write. Let's say we want uh, testing names. So we'll simply write names here. And uh, let me execute this program. Okay, so we are having an error. Just a second. Okay, so invalid syntax. What's the problem? Okay, so okay, it's a uh, drum typo. Uh, okay, it is not defined. The variable is of different name. Okay, so here you can see Michelle Brown. Um, uh, say okay. James Stone, Brian, Michael, all English name, no Indian names here. Anyway, moving ahead. Now you can also get emails from here. Testing emails. Okay. And this is a testing email. 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 Okay. So these are the emails that you can use to somewhat bombard your database so that you can check whether uh, your program is working fine or not. Now, let me take a few seconds and uh, walk you through uh, the actual library, the actual library so that we can see that how uh, these testing data are created. So we'll go to the GitHub repository here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go inside this folder. And then providers, and here you can, and here you can see that these are all uh, the uh, functions or all uh, the objects that you want to create the testing data for. Let's say we want to create uh, for person or names. Okay, so let's go inside. Uh, we only understand English, so we're gonna go inside English. Okay, and here you can see that uh, these are all the first names. These are all the female first name actually. God, these are first name for male, and no, no, I'm not gonna go all through that. Okay, so uh, this was for names. Uh, we also have this for address, jobs, email ID, credit card. These are not actual credit card details. These are uh, randomly created numbers that. Uh, that resembles a credit card number. These are not real numbers. Uh, let's go inside English folder. And here you can see that 
this is another uh, randomly created uh, address or country right these are all the countries okay so uh, yeah this was the video and actually before closing this video let me uh, ask you one thing now we have seen how to create these random datas for testing purpose now would you be interested in a project in which we'll be using the PyAuto GUI and this uh, library that I'm not gonna name uh, to automate a GUI. Uh, we'll take the example from some of my previous project, let's say the sign up uh, GUI or whatever that was. So uh, what we'll be using is we'll be create uh, we'll be using that GUI, then uh, this library to create the testing data and then PyAuto GUI to enter the data into that GUI. Would you be interested in such a project? If yes, then comment down below because uh, I'm creating project for you guys. If you're interested, then I'll create. If not, then I won't. Okay. So let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye.